Now we're going to take a look at the empirical rule. So if we are looking at a random variable with a normal distribution, right, it looks kind of like this, it has a nice bell curve, with a mean of mu and the standard deviation sigma, then the empirical rule states this. 68% of the x values lie between one standard deviation of the mean, between here. 95% lies between two standard deviations, and 99.7% lies between three standard deviations. So that means that almost all of the x values lie within three standard deviations of the mean. That's the empirical rule. So let's take a look at some examples. So we're going to do some examples with the empirical rule. It's also sometimes called the 68, 95, 99.7 rule, so just be aware of that. And when we look at this normal curve, what I want you to understand is that 68% lie within one standard deviation of the mean, 95% lies within two standard deviations of the mean, so on either side, and 99.7 is within three standard deviations of the mean. So let's go ahead and solve some problems. Number one, the mean height of 15 to 18 year old males from Chile from 2009 to 2010 was 170 centimeters with a standard deviation of 6.28 centimeters. Male heights are known to follow a normal distribution. So let x equal the height of a 15 to 18 year old male from Chile in 2009 to 2010, and it's given us our notation here, which is all the information that we need. It says, suppose a 15 to 18 year old male from Chile was 168 centimeters tall from 2009 to 2010. The z-score when x equals 168 centimeters is what? So recall, to find that, we use this equation, and then I'm also going to write this one down, because this will be helpful later. All right, so we know from the given information here, and also here, they've given it to us twice, that the mean is 170. The standard deviation is 6.28. We want to know when x is 168. So we are going to plug this in. 168 minus 170 divided by 6.28. I already did these calculations in my calculator ahead of time. You would just plug these in, and I get approximately negative 0.32. So this z-score tells us that x equals 168 centimeters is 0.32 standard deviations to the left, because it's a negative, so to the left, of the mean, which is 170. B, suppose the height of a 15 to 18 year old male from Chile from 2009 to 2010 has a z-score of 1.27. So what is the male's height? You can use either one of these. This one is the easier one. It's already done all of the algebra for you and moving everything around. So that is the one we are going to use. So we know this information, 6.28. We know a z-score of 1.27. So x equals the mean plus z times the standard deviation. 170 plus 1.27 <clears throat> times 6.28. Again, I've already done this calculation. So we get that the male's height is 177.98 centimeters. So the z-score tells you that the male's height is 1.27 standard deviations to the, it's a positive number, so to the right of the mean.